Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going Q3 of the weekly contest 404. Find the maximum length of Reddit subsequence 2. Hit the like button, hit the s- button, hit the likes. Well, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem and this ex- explanation. So, okay. So, first of all, I want you to uh, watch the Q2 video if you um, have a problem with this one, um, because a lot of it is based on that video, um, and a lot of my ideas is taken from that one. Uh, I know that apparently there is a diff- there are different ways to do this, in, um, but the way that I do it is very similar to Q2. So I want you to build that one. And th- I'm, I'm, but I am going to repeat the same thing that I said for Q2, at least the beginning of it, which is to say that this is a very uh, tricky problem to get right, and definitely a problem that um, I feel like a, it is a medium only in the sense that a lot of people have done similar problems on the code itself. So in the context of that, um, it, it's, you know, people have, could find it medium, uh, but it is actually a hard problem if you ask me. Like, if you haven't done enough of similar problems before and you're just kind of looking at it for the first time and you, you don't know what I'm talking about, um, this is super hard and I, I don't know. I don't know if people are able to get this. And yeah, and definitely watch my Q2 video first before following this because I don't want to repeat myself. Um, and, but that said, uh, if you did watch, and if you don't watch Q2, it's going to be a little bit silly. Uh, uh, because I'm not going to go over this one in too much of a detail. I'm just going to tell you how this differs from Q2. So, of course, uh, yeah, so definitely go back and watch that one first, even if you have gotten it, just in case. But the key thing to note is that um, the two... the the difference, there are two differences between Q2 and Q3. One is obvious, it's the K. And the second one is also, I don't know if it's obvious, but it's easy to miss, is that N is actually much smaller, right? I actually didn't even look at the constraints for Q2 and notice this only afterwards, after the contest, because Q2, I did it O of N, right? And when you do something O of N, I, you don't need to look at the constraints because, you know, it's as fast as it's going to get. But here, it, it becomes critical because N is actually much smaller in this problem than in Q2. And if you did not, you know, and if you read it, read Q2 and did it, the, um, yeah, did it another way, then you may just, if you assume that the Q3 has the same constraint as Q2, then you're going to have a bad time, which I think, to be honest, I, I wish they kind of pointed out somewhere here. I mean, the K part is obvious, but this is actually like a, critical critical part of this it's just that i think i got lucky in a way that i did not see this constraint in q2 because it was just linear right um but yeah uh but the, the key thing is that noting that the k is different as well allow us to you know if you go on my q2 solution um where basically you know we have this thing right um so q2 is we have this thing where, where uh, in in Q two k is equal to two, right? And what does k equal to two mean in that video? We means that well, this can only uh, have two outcomes, right? Which is that uh, I don't know if I wrote it correctly actually. That means that this is equal to zero, and this is equal to one, right? Um, and then we kind of did some stuff to it, like I said in that video. So I don't, I'm not repeating myself here. Um, you could go for the cases. But then now, then um, using the same idea, right? Um, now we have k instead of k is equal to two, right? So what does this mean? That that means that now the num the possible spaces are going to be just you go to well, it's going to be this, two, two, three, da 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 da, the k minus one, right? So that's basically the idea that we have to solve is that f- we solve it for each of these, right? And that's really the core part of this idea. Um, and there's k of these. And it, so k only goes up to 10 to the third, which is a thousand. So that means that there's only a thousand of these. And if a- n is a thousand, then, and you're do- able to do each of these in O of n times, n times k is going to be a thousand times a thousand, which is a million, which is going to be fast enough. And that's basically how I st- started doing it. And here, you know, we'll, we'll start off easy a little bit and do it a little bit manually, um, maybe. But but here, this just, what does this mean, right? Uh, oh, oh, sorry, I, I, I copy and paste, but I missed this part. Sorry, this is all k. Sorry, 
my apologies. Hopefully this wasn't too confusing. Uh, but yeah, okay. So yeah, so it's this, right? So then now, um, you know, you just solve for the equation, right? Um, which is to say that, okay, let's say we have this, um, and we're given sub 1, right? What, what do I mean by we're given sub 1? That means that in a photo, you know, maybe for x is in a, a sub or something like this, whatever, right? Then this is going to be x because this is the, because we want to answer the question of, okay, we have, we're given this number, how, what is the best subsequence that we can add this to at the end to make it longer, right? Same idea as before, same idea as before as in Q2. And so this is X in that sense, but I'll just keep on using sub 1 for consistency, right? So so we'll brute force, on, uh, not brute force, but for each of these numbers in sub, right? And so now we're given sub 1. What does this mean? So we're trying to find out what is the previous subsequence to match up to and so now you have sub 1 k on one side we subtract uh sub 0 on the other side sub 0 just like uh motor combat right sub 0 but in any case so you have this and of course um you can rewrite this as k minus if this is negative and this should be because everything is positive i believe then this is just k minus this um eh, kind of i mean it's actually eh, it's, I think it maybe another way to write this is just this uh, plus plus k mod k if you want to be really precise. But you still get the idea of that. Uh, you know, you just subtract sub zero on both sides and then find this answer, right? And and whatever this thing is, um, then you just kind of um, we find the the what we want is now we want to find the maximum length subsequence that ends in this number. And then add one to it, right? And so this is for uh, if the the result is zero, right? So then let's try again for uh, k is equal to one. Well, for k is equal to one, you sub one is actually on the other side. So then you subtract sub zero. It's going to look like this, uh, roughly speaking. I mean, you you have to do some mod math to get it. Make sure that is it in zero and k. Um, I'm not going to do it, uh, but you know, you get the idea. Hopefully. And basically, you do it for every one. And that's basically the same idea as Q2. And then now we're going to go over code basically through this idea. And yeah. And basically, here's my lazy best loop, right? I just try to go, go sub i. And I just vote c for constant, I think, which is to say that sub sub 0 plus sub sub 1 uh, mod k is equal to some c, right? Um, and here, you can see me try to do this math here. In Python, um, negative mods are actually in zero to minus or to k minus one uh in inclusive so uh, so this is all i needed and yeah i don't think i i think the, i i wrote max because i didn't want to guess to be honest but i i think because there's only one choice this will always be right um yeah, I think this will always be right, but I, I, I didn't want to... During a contest, sometimes you, you just do things where you don't, you know, uh, where it's not super necessary, but and also knowing that that's not super expensive, so it's okay. So we can maybe give another submit just to... Yeah, so that, that shouldn't change the answer, but I, I was just not taking a risk after making silly mistakes in before. But yeah, uh, but yeah, but that's pretty much it, you know, so... I think I got this one worth it. Eh, okay, in a good time because I had to write it out on my pad of paper just to make sure. But that's all I have for this one. Um, it's just, you know, doing this. And if you have a um, good understanding of Q2, then this is basically the same idea. I think the tricky thing, like I said, is to notice that, uh, not the K part, the K part is obvious, but the N is actually much smaller. So you can do this, which is kind of a little bit tricky to be, if you ask me. But, uh, but yeah. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Oh, and just to, go, I mean, I said this earlier, but um, this is an O of K loop. This is an O of N loop, right? So it's only be O of N times K time and space. Uh, this is O of um, O of K. So this is going to be O of K space. Um, yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Uh, and you could watch me solve it live during the contest now. Yeah, mostly understood this problem, right? Yeah, I just a little bit silliness. I'm. Uh, this is so sloppy, Lavi. Uh, K.
here's some number, okay. 10 to the 3, what's a thousand, a thousand? No, you can't do it that way, Larry. What are you doing? No, uh, okay, focus. No, you, that's that's fine. Yeah. Is it right? We want them to be some of so C is zero to the other. Right? Right. A plus B C is well, mod K is equal to C mod K. So that means that um, sub subtract. Okay. I'm gonna write this last one. I think I just did it that way, but I don't think that's quite necessarily right. Maybe it's actually precisely right because it's forced. Everything is forced. Zero. Okay. Um. No, that's not right. Oh, wait, no. If it's too slow, I would be very sad. But yeah, I mean, I let myself down to Q one. Ten minutes. Thanks for watching everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.